Hey what's up guys, welcome to this review of the 85 rated footies win Asane card. Before we get into the review, as always, if you could hammer the hell out of that like button, I would sure damn appreciate it, as well as hitting the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And if I can help you guys out in any way, maybe you've got questions on Sane, is he worth it, is he not, or FIFA 17 in general, ask away in the comments below, I'll be happy to answer every single question I receive. So jumping into his stats, and as you can see, the guy is ridiculously quick. I mean, we knew that already, but 96 acceleration combined with 95 sprint speed is ridiculous and also the fact that he's got 87 stamina is pretty damn decent as well so he is very fast and can maintain that for most of the game which is always very very good he's also got ridiculous agility and balance very very nice indeed strength does leave somewhat to be desired there at 69 which is unfortunate but his attack positioning is very very good at 85 that's something that really stood out for me then we move on to his skill attributes comparison and we see very high ball control and dribbling i mean his dribbling there at 92 is ridiculous as well as his curve at 92 also finishing 80 which is decent but it's not ridiculous level and that is something that i'll sort of explain later on within the video but, you know, not too shabby. 86 heading accuracy is quite surprising. Very nice, very nice stat there, as you can see. Long shot's pretty decent. Shot power also pretty tidy, as well as his short passing. We move on and we see that he does have three-star weak foot, three-star skills and high medium work rates. And then we move on and we see speedster, dribbler and acrobat specialities and the flair and outside of the foot shot trait. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on the 85 rated Sane footies winner card were that he was a mixed bag in all honesty. He is a very good card for the most part, do not get me wrong. And he has scored me some great goals. He's been really fun to use, which ultimately is probably the point of a footies card. I mean, they were fun and overpowered to begin with, and then it just takes it to that next level. And he certainly does that. But there are still definitely gaps to his game. While he did score me some fantastic goals, some really good long ranges, he's definitely got that in his locker to score from distance, and some great mazy runs resulting in some very nice goals, there were so many occasions where he did all the hard work and then missed some very easy chances, which left me a little bit frustrated, I must admit. So that is something that you will have to take into consideration because while 80 finishing is quite decent, it's not as good as some of the informs and team of the season and other cards that you can use instead of this one. You may already even have a better right winger from the Premier League in your club already. I know I do. And that is where you have to question, is he worth it? It is a relatively cheap SBC to go out and get. You can probably do it for around sort of 30, 35,000 coins if you are lucky and not too price fixed out of the market. So that does make him quite an attractive proposition, being 85 rated and very, very quick with some very nice stats surrounding that pace. But there are other options. People like Inform Shakiri. Some of the special Walcott cards are relatively cheap, you know, and similar in price. Maybe a little bit more expensive, but they are much more clinical and much more precise. So it is something you will have to balance up. Is he worth it? I think so. I mean, for most people, this card is definitely going to be worth it. He can score good goals. He's got such amazing pace and very good stamina. Keeps going well into the later sort of stages within the game, which is always handy. And he's got fantastic dribbling and agility. That is something that I always loved on his original card. I did use that 79 rated card before and I really liked it. I thought it was very good. This card is just on another level. The way that he can dance past players with absolute ease is very, very appealing. And it does make the card fun as I alluded to earlier on in the video. Overall, for me, he is a very good player to use. There are just other options. So if you do have a good right winger or right midfielder in your team already, it's probably not going to be for you because he probably won't feel too much different. But if you are looking for a relatively well-priced, good right-sided player from the Premier League that you want to do you know, the, the business for you, this card will not steer you wrong. And also with that German link, you can probably use him in a few hybrid teams as well. So he's definitely worth going out and getting in my opinion. That is why I've had to give him 8.5 out of 10 because for me, he is very solid, pretty much reliable most of the time. There are just those odd chances that do occur in the game where he maybe just takes a softer shot than you would have liked and the keeper ends up saving it. 
Also, the untradeable element of the card does mean that all of your coins will be tied up within this card if you do go out and get it. But overall, not too expensive. Very, very fun and well worth going out and trying. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have used him and how he's got on for you. I'll be really interested to hear your thoughts on the card too. And also, if you can hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.